Welcome back for another Top Notch video. This week, guys, we'll be talking about the week of 8 June through 12 June. As always, our channel is about the TSP funds or Roth IRA and brokerage accounts. The accounts we, go, we cover for TSP are the CSI and F fund, and those equal the ETFs, EF, or IVV, VXF, EFA, AGG, and these cover the S&P 500, small caps, international markets, and bonds. As always, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. We do a general overview and then go into some technical analysis. Moving right into this week, we had a lot happen, so let's go over and cover what we saw. For the week, we saw the CNS funds, or IVV and VXF, down. We also saw um, international markets down as well. All three of our stock funds down, why the bonds, or AGG, was up for the, the week. If you want to see that on a weekly chart and what that looks like on lines, we have that here. We basically took a big hit on Thursday. That was a day where we had, this beginning of the week, we were kind of mixed throughout, and then Thursday we saw a large drop down, almost a 4 to 5% drop for some of these funds. Um, so that's a really, really decent drop for some of these funds, and then bounce back a little bit on Friday. With that rebound, we caught a little bit of that, and then we decided to uh, move out of stock funds just where we were at, where we saw things at. Um, so let's go over some charts real quick. These charts are based off the fall on Thursday, and as you can see for the IVV or the C fund, we came to that simple 200-day uh, moving average, and we hit that. And we don't know where it's going to go from here. We have gaps down here. Gaps tend to be filled, and we have gaps up here. Definitely broke a trend line here, um, but we'll see. We'll, we'll have to wait and see if this drops down lower or not. We'll have to see where the retracement lines go. We decided to reduce our risk a little bit and move out of stock funds just a tad bit to see kind of where this goes. If it goes up, we'll get back in, and if it goes down, we will um, pull more money out. So that's the C fund. Uh, for the S fund, small caps, VXF ETF, what we're looking at is we're right on that 200-day uh, moving average, so hit that 200-day moving average on Thursday, yet to be seen where it will go. We did move a little bit up on Friday, and we are still within our trend lines here, but we're just kind of waiting and seeing where the markets are going to go from here. And we're going to go over our technical analysis, which will kind of give us some better clarity of where we should have our funds. EFA or um, international markets, iFund for TSP users went below that 200 day moving average. And that's a big warning sign. It broke that. It did not bounce back. Now, this could be a failed breakout, but that is a big, uh, it's uh, much more of a, a warning than our other two charts. So we want to be very careful about I. Um, EFA for the most part. <clears throat> and then finally, let's move to bonds. With bonds, we did see that break above that double top, so that's a good thing there for bonds. Charts look to be going upward. We have this weird trend line sloping upward, so we'll have to wait and see what happens with that. Um, but overall, we are above our moving averages. We, we have the fastest moving average on top and the lowest moving average, 200 day, you can't even see it in the screen, way down here below. So bonds are doing pretty well right now. We did not transfer to bonds just because what we saw in the weekly charts, and I'll go over that a little bit later. Just a little bit more technical analysis for you. These are based off Friday's charts. This is the C Funder IVV three year weekly. As you can see, we have the 50 day moving average on the three year weekly here. And really interesting, ever since 2018, every time we've hit the this, uh, this 50 day moving average on this chart, we've found support. So 50 day, a uh, 50 week moving average, I apologize, the 50 week moving average. As you can see here, support, support, support. We broke down here towards the end of 2018, got above it, support, support, close to it, close to it, and then we broke down again here. We are right in that area once again. Will we find support or will we not? We just don't know. It's very indecisive at this point, and so we're gonna wait. We don't wanna see another drop like we did back in March or February, so we're taking a little risk by moving a little bit of capital into some safer funds, but that's worth it until we can see where the market's gonna take us. Now, if it decides to bounce, like I mentioned, we'll put some of our capital back into it, and if we break down past this, um, yet to be seen, we will definitely react to that very quickly. As you can see with RSI and our MACD lines here, these MACD lines are kind of pausing here. We have our black line that's kind of pausing here. It is above the red line sloping upwards, which is good. Our RSA, our RSI line is above that middle average. Usually when it's above the middle, it tends to stay there for quite some time. So we are just starting here. We'll have to wait and see if, and see if it bounces off this by chance. Right in the middle here, so we're just kind of very indecisive of where we could go 
going forward. So that's our basic um, overview for stocks this week. Now we'll go into more of the technical analysis. With a technical analysis, we always start off with IYY. We start off with IYY because it's a general market fund. It has um, all market participants, um, and we don't listen to the noise, the news, media. We look at charts because this is where people are making decisions and where they want to put their money. So as you can see with IYY, paused on the 200-day moving average. Right there, bounced there, staying there. We have yet to see where it would go. Now, I'd feel more confident if we had that 50-day moving average above that 200-day, but it is still below there. So we, we did decide to remove some of our capital there and just hold and, and see where things are going to go from here. And as you can see from a technical analysis, long-term charts here, um, the things that we look at is this the PPO line and the moving average. If the PPO line drops below the moving average, typically price, which is this right here, tends to drop or go down. So we had basically um, we are our PPO line is above our moving average as one of our positive indicators which is a good thing but one other thing we like to look at is our derivative oscillator now derivative oscillators can move from basically the negatives to the positives and when they do that price tends to react very well or they can move from the positives to the negatives and when they do that price reacts negatively now one of the big warning signs we saw this week is when we were moving up positive on our chart our indicator flipped so our derivative oscillators went from 6.97 to 6.61. So that, that is our first indication that there's something up with the markets. People are making decisions um, yet to be seen, but right around that 200 day moving average line on our other charts, we wanna be very careful of where things are so we don't happen to have a very quick plunge that we do not wanna be a part of. Now our PPO line is still above here, which is good, um, but yet to be seen of where we go. On short term charts, for the IYY, you can see that we definitely have already dropped. Our PPO line has definitely dropped here based off Thursday's action, and we'll have to yet to be seen when this comes back. Now, if this starts to come back a little bit, we might get back in on charts. We have yet to be seen on when that happens, but we're still very much in negative territory with our two indicators, our PPO line above that moving average line, price reacted, and derivative oscillator in the negative, price reacted. Moving forward to our next chart, which is I. VV, S&P 500, the C fund, where do we sit? Very similar to IYY, right on that line. We have to wait and see what happens here, but we really like to see, we saw that the, the, the 20 the, the twenty day or the, yeah, the 20 day has moved through that 200 day moving average. I feel a little more confident about that, but I wanna see that 50 day moving average move above that line to give us a little more confidence that this is indeed gonna be a bullish market and not just, um, this is going to be a V recovery versus uh, a W recovery. Okay, on our technical analysis for IVV or the C fund, where do we sit on long-term charts? Well, when we pull it up here, as you can see, we have something very similar to IYY. Um, our PPO line is above that moving average, which is good. Price is reacting, doing very well, going in the positive direction here. But we saw our first sign here with our river of oscillator of that starting to drop on a long-term chart. Now, we wanna be very careful with that. We can see fake outs, um, so we'll have to be watching for that. We'll have to look to our short-term charts to show us that. And as long as this one of our two indicators is in the green, which we have both still in the, in the green here and our PPO line is above, positive, above that moving average, we're good to go to get into funds. But we um, just wanna take a second and pause and see where things will go from here. On a short-term basis, as you can see, very much in the negative here with our PPO line, dropping below our moving average, price reacting, and our derivative oscillator in the negative, price reacting. Yet to be seen what will happen for next week. We did remove our allocations a little bit out after Friday's price movement action, just to um, gain a little bit of that capital that we gained back on Friday. And we're probably gonna be making a move this next week, so please pay close attention to our Facebook and Twitter accounts when we make those moves. Moving on to VXF or the S fund. S fund took a bigger hit than the C fund. It did move initially below the 200 day moving line here, which is uh, a big warning sign. And then Friday, it happened to push just a little bit above it, which is good. Our trend lines on this chart are holding very nicely. No issues, no concerns here. We'd like to see our trend line and our 50 day moving average get above the 200 day moving average to be more bullish in this uh, market. See the V recovery versus a big Y recovery. Moving forward to the technical analysis for uh, VXF for VXF or the S fund long-term charts seeing very th similar things to our other charts here our derivative oscillator first week down so we want to be very careful with that our PPO line still above our moving average price is still doing well here 
yet to be seen where this will go from here. Want to be very, very careful moving forward. Want to be a little more cautious. Uh, Want to be a little more risk adverse here. Um, I remember back in the early days of March 6, we uh, jumped right in here. Uh, this is where kind of where we jumped in right when the Bollinger Bands. That this, that was kind of our first indicator of oh we might have one more down week. Well, we ended up having two more down weeks, and it was uh, drastic down week. So we want to be very careful now that we start to see this um, start to decline a little bit. Like back here in January, we start to saw it just decline a little bit, and then it led to much other uh, nastier things. So we want to be very careful long-term basis, short-term basis. We're starting to see this starting to pan off a little bit. Our derivative oscillator is moving uh, from the negatives, still in the negatives here, but starting went from negative 13 to negative 14, so slowing down, which is good. PPO line is negative here, yet to be seen if we can come back. If this can make it back above the moving average, I would be um, willing to buy back into this to see where it goes moving forward. So that's our two stock funds. Let's see how EFA or international markets is doing. International markets not doing as well as our st other stock funds. Look at this, guys. It didn't even make it to the 200-day moving average. That is not a good sign. It's still within our trend lines, but much weaker chart, as you can see here. Um, not holding here, not really interested in this chart. On a technical analysis for international markets, what do we see? On a weekly chart, we do see this continuing to rise, so that is a good positive sign. But the fact that it hasn't hit its 200-day moving average is very concerning. We are in the negative here with on a short-term chart for EFA. Um, PPO line is below the moving average. Price is reacting. Have to see if this can come out, but not in, in as good as position as the other two charts. I feel less, less confident um, and more more risk involved in EFA or international markets, the I fund right now than I do in our other two stock funds. Let's move to our safest stock fund, which is AGG or bonds. As you can see here, our moving averages are all in line of how they should be. We have the 200 day slowest moving on the bottom, fastest day, the 20 day on top. They're all aligned very well. This chart is staying above those lines as you can see there, uh, moving sideways for quite some months here. We'll have to see if this will end up breaking out towards the top or moving back down into some kind of downturn. We'll have to wait and see where exactly that's going. Um, for AGG on a technical analysis long-term chart, where do we see it? It has been declining now for almost two weeks, um, almost three weeks actually, three weeks now. So the derivative of oscillator is moving downward, downward slope. Our PPO line is coming very close to our moving average line. Price is starting to react to that. It's just flat, um, and that's how charts have been reacting to, just very flat here. This is starting to move down. Unless this, there's a fake out here, we're not really interested in this chart. We're waiting to see if there might be one, but we moved all um, our funds into uh, the G Fund this week, which is safe funds uh, for you. And it's just basically a money market account for those that don't have the G Fund and the TSP. Um, but we're just waiting to see how this will pan out. It's, it's very close here. I, I might We might see a fake out this next week, but yet to be seen. If we look towards the short-term chart, it should give us a better idea of where AG is, AGG is going. And as you can see, we did have a pop-up here. PPO did cross our moving average. We didn't really see price react very much. Very close Bollinger Bands here. Usually when Bollinger Bands get this close, there's, there tends to be a big move coming up, either up to the top side or the downside. And based off long-term charts, it suggests that this possibly could be a downside move. And on our four-hour charts, we are also starting to decline our derivative oscillator, going back down towards underground, towards the negative, the red bars. PPO is still above the red line, but that is not a good sign for AGG, and that's why we moved our funds to the G Fund for this week. That being said, that covers all our funds for this week. Um, now I'll show you our allocation. So our allocation for where we are at, like I mentioned this last week, we did make a move on um, Friday towards close of business to move our funds from uh, 100 or 50% IVV VXF to 25%, 25% respectively, and 50% to the G Fund. G Fund, for those that don't have it, um, non-TSP funds, it's just a money market. And these are the S&P 500 and the Dow Jones. The reason we did that is based off technical analysis. We'll have to wait and see if that pans out for next week. Like I mentioned, we're at a very big decision point of where stocks will go from here. Will they go up or will they go down? Very, very interesting. Looking at the derivative oscillator and looking at some of our indicators like PPO. As always, if you like the video, please like, subscribe, or share. Really appreciate your guys' comments, and we'll see you guys next time. That's another top-notch video.